We've made flashlights, yes, but we haven't made reverse flashlights. Artificial darkness would be funny as hell, though. I'd love to beam a line of night directly into someone's face. Go to the void. Hmm, okay, Satan, chill out. Although, honestly, I would kind of like one of these, too. It seems like it'd be really fun. What do you say after you kiss someone? Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to try that, actually. The dopest thing about horses is that they're basically grass engines. Like, grass goes in, fast comes out. Most things that produce fast, uh, like cheetahs and cars, use much more heavily processed grass, like horses and oil. And yet, here horses are, producing the fast with only the grass. Are you okay? Yeah, I produce the slow, but off of a steady diet of Taco Bell and other things. Craigslist house share ad. I have a garden growing in my shower, so you have to use eco-friendly hair products. You'll see worms and other insects, and you will occasionally see a spider too, but they all help out the ecosystem. Okay. <laughs> no, no, that's not okay. I'm sorry, I do not agree with that sentiment. Macabre statues to keep me company outside my new office. Congratulations on the job. I didn't know hell was even hiring. I feel like they're always hiring? Maybe that's just my assumption. I'll never understand why Disney is so focused on live action remakes when they literally own the rights to the Muppets. I'd take a Muppet remake of a Disney animation classic over a live action remake all day, every day. Muppet Beauty and the Beast, where the Beast is played by the only human actor, and he turns into a Muppet at the end. The Beast should be a conventionally attractive actor, whom the Muppet townspeople continually call hideous until true love releases him from his curse, and he shows true beauty, blue felt, and plastic eyes. These ideas are fantastic, and I think that's why Disney refuses to take them. How many introverts does it take to change a light bulb? Why does it have to be a group activity? I would hope changing a light bulb in your house doesn't have to be a group activity. I'm just saying. The problem with kids these days is that they don't watch Linkin Park anime AMVs. Well, I know they're watching some anime AMVs. It's just, Linkin Park ain't in the zeitgeist anymore, dude. Transformers killed them. Oh, God. The quality of this was so crappy, but it really made you feel like an artist. I can feel the dryness of those markers in my bones. Fun fact, those dry markers were supposed to have water put into them to make them work. You take off the bottom thing and pour water in, and bam! Instant marker success. Only learned about this four years after I'd lost my set. Mm-hmm. Yep, those people saying what? Uh, yeah, it's true. It's true. How come nobody ever knew this, myself included? Did they just never bother to tell people? No instructions? No indication whatsoever? Joseph de Creux, 1735 through 1802, was a French painter who is known primarily for his unorthodox self-portraits. I always wondered where that one painting came from. Why have we only memed one of these four portraits? When did we, as a society, fail? Yeah, they all need to be memed. I mean, that one is great. Arguably the best, but come on. He begged no more, but the holy hand ignored his plea. Doesn't look like he's begging, looks like he's telling you. And this is the last time. Movies were a creature of another species with a love for good food, meets a mess of a human down on his luck, living in an apartment, and the creature can control the guy's action, and he's unwilling at first, but they learn to cooperate, and together, they can stop the evil rich man trying to take them down. This comparison is wild, but where's the lie? There is no lie. Unfortunately, reptiles never evolved a defense against dentists. I feel like most people don't have a proper defense against dentists. They catch us. All the time. If something is old as hell, then it's about 1.2 billion years old. Because that's when life evolved sexual reproduction. Wow. Fuck, it's old. However, if something's old as balls, it's only about 65 million years old. When placental mammals began to evolve proper testicles. <laughs> I love biologists. They're so fun. They know how to party. Oh my god, I found this YouTube video called Elk Hunting Chihuahua. And the guy's like, make sure you have a good hunting dog. And he just opens his backpack to reveal his little chihuahua named Coco and tells us how amazing she is at hunting. And then he just whips her out and says, you gotta have one of these things. They can track and they're just the best hunting dogs in the world. And that was the whole video. And honestly, I've never wanted a chihuahua more in my life. I'm crying, he's holding her like an orange. 
Have you seen her? She's about the size of an orange. Yeah, I'm a non-practicing woman. I was raised female, but I don't really believe anymore, you know? Hmm. I'm culturally female. I don't really believe in one true gender, but I do participate in some of the rituals I was raised in when I feel like it. And I enjoy participating in the traditions of other genders, too, sometimes. I'm only female on Christmas and Easter for my parents. Everyone needs to read this. Instantly scrolls past. Why is no one talking about scrolls violently past? Found this cool rock on a hike today. Pauses to admire photo of rock. Hey, come on. Rocks are cool. Um, first horse that got ridden. <laughs> Horses are incapable of human speech. It's always a good time at Quirky Brittany. Follow her for blah, blah, blah. What? This perfectly preserved comment from 2014. Peasant and hipster free indeed. Oh, I see. A peasant and hipster free blogging experience. Why? Those things make the blogging experience so fun because they're weird. Me trying to spell something in French. Uh, I think that's enough vowels. The French language. You fool. You insolent coward. It is scientifically impossible not to read this with a French accent. Uh, I'm French, and please, we don't all talk like that. Arg. Ew, I'm French, and please, we don't talk like this. Uh, arg. Can't believe that pioneer women used to churn butter for hours without even listening to a podcast about Bigfoot. Historically, when performing long, repetitive tasks like churning butter or weaving cloth, people would sit together and tell stories. Folk stories, fairy tales, and even stories about mysterious ape-like figures living in the forests. So, yes, pioneer women did listen to podcasts about Bigfoot while churning butter. I just, maybe not in the traditional sense, but yeah, absolutely. My sisters and I are trying to fence with brooms. What kind of fencing do you do? Wait, what? Ippy? Do you have any fencing tips for us? Just hit each other. Asked my champion fencing friend for pointers. <laughs> uh, you knew what was going to happen. Come on, you had to. Today I learned that because of a mistranslation, Jimmy Carter told the Polish people in 1977 that he desired them carnally and that he had left the United States to never return. Hmm. Imagine being a Polish citizen and you hear the American president say he's here to fuck and he's not leaving. Especially Jimmy Carter. I mean... What in the world? <laughs> How did someone mess that up? Deep fryer, hungry, feed it 20 pound bag of ice. <laughs> Fun pranks to pull on your last day at Applebee's. Fun pranks to pull to make it everyone's last day at Applebee's. I don't know why, it just amuses me. Deep fryer is just this little guy who's hungry. <laughs> oh, deep fryer, please no. Radiation is insane. There are rocks out there that will pull the seams of your organs apart if you stand too close to them. <laughs> Some rocks really do have auras. Unfortunately, the aura is eat sh and die energy. Oh god, it's so much worse than you could ever imagine it being. So much worse. Snow White, Bengal, Golden White. Oh hell yeah, this is the coolest picture ever. Looks like God ran out of printer ink. They do get kinda... Wait, what's the word? Dim? No. Faded? I don't know. Wait, I wanna see something. Reblog with your age, if you're in school or not, and what time you usually wake up in the morning. Hmm. I feel like these reblog games are made up by government plants or something to slowly up the ante in getting Tumblr users to divulge personal information. Like, they go from reblog with your favorite color to I just want to see something. What's your date of birth and place of residence? And then further to just curious, reblog with your social security number. Well, did they do it? New general philosophy. When something breaks, repair it with chunks of geode. I like that idea, though. Things would look kind of cool, although it might encourage some people to break things on purpose. An action being punishable by a fine basically means legal for rich people. Oh wow, that's... Ooh. I once dated a rich guy, and if I said, hey, it's illegal to drink on the street, he'd respond with, nah, it just costs 150 pounds, or you can't park here. Yeah, it just costs 35 pounds. Like literally, that's how he saw fines. It was just how much you paid to do the thing. Yeah, that's why I think, is, aren't there are some countries out there that charge these fines based on how much money you make? Because that's the, that's the right way to do it. That is the proper way to do it. Despite what popular opinion may lead you to believe, some rocks actually do have scientifically proven auras. 
Unfortunately, those rocks are uranium and the aura is cancer. Yeah, 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 come on, we've been over this one already, okay? Tell me about yourself. One-handed weapons suit me very much. They leave a hand free f to perform rude gestures. Okay, that's a little mean. I can respect that. This is the realest reason to use one-handed weapons. That's true. Shield who? Yeah, no thank you. No, no, that's not what we do here. The entire point of Johnny Bravo is that he doesn't get laid. He's not a himbo, and I will not tolerate people saying he is. Himself. I hate to break this to you, pal, but Johnny's creator says he does get laid off screen. But any success he receives on the show isn't comedic, so they don't talk about it. He's Schrodinger's himbo. He was literally thrown into a volcano as a virgin sacrifice, and the volcano spat him back out. Wait a minute. I can't believe Johnny Bravo got s shamed by a volcano. Hmm. I'm not sure... I, I, uh, uh, I only saw the show a couple times growing up, man. I don't know. I don't know. A baby can be born right now at 12 on a Wednesday, August 24th in New Jersey, while another baby is also born in the exact same moment. But they're born at 9 on a Tuesday, August 23rd in California. These babies that are born at the same moment are technically because of time zones, a concept that we created ourselves, born hours apart, even though really they're born at the same moment, just not the same time. One will be considered older, even though in actuality they are the same. Okay, look, I, I, I never used Tumblr, personally. I mean, I think I visited it twice, maybe on accident. But this is all it's for, right? Th this is all Tumblr was ever for, right? I I'm assuming that this was it. Every show about teenagers should have an on-site consultant aged 14 to 18 who looks over the script and says, we would not say that. Actually, that would be an incredibly good, smart idea. Thank you. All operating systems should be infinitely backward compatible to the start of time. Strictly backwards compatible operating systems might be cute when they're young, but then they grow up to be a bloated mess of a million frameworks that's impossible to take care of. Nobody wants a Windows 10 on their PC. Hmm. How backwards compatible is Windows 10? I've been hearing that the focus on backwards compatibility has been waning internally at Microsoft since at least Vista, but I don't know any details. You can't name a folder CON on Windows 10. Hmm. To much dismay of scam artists everywhere, it's reserved for, like, a camera or something. Uh, what? Oh. Oh. The funniest thing about the Teen Titans cartoon is how they all call each other by their code names, and it's because despite living together, they don't know each other's real names. Titan's Tower was a Discord server. Oh. Oh my god. Well, I need to sit down now. Yeah, that's right. I'm doing this standing up. A girl in one of my classes sent out an email saying, You'll be having a furry classmate this semester. And my heart stopped, but she was talking about her service dog. Oh, thank god. I love how all of the Batman villains are like, Nah, he's not at the manor. It's defenseless! And then Alfred just racks an AK-47 and is like, Nah, pull up, <laughs> Batman's villains. The butler will be easy prey. He's just an old man. He doesn't have any of the Batman gadgets or training or fighting skills. Alfred, oh my, you're right. There's something else of Master Bruce's I don't have as well. Cox a shotgun, a code against killing. <sighs> yeah, at a certain point, when you're fighting Batman and you get used to how Batman fights, maybe a gun is really gonna take you by surprise. So my grandmother passed away recently and I got her will. My birth father was always a piece of crap, always stealing from his mother and ditching his kids whenever he could. I got to this part of the will and, ah, uh, I leave the sum of one dollar. Grammy had the last laugh. Well, this is actually done for legal reasons. If Chad was excluded from the will entirely, he could make the case that he was supposed to be included, but was forgotten, and get a big chunk of the estate. By explicitly giving him one dollar, it shows he wasn't forgotten, so he does not have a case. I like it. I like that a lot. That's a good idea. I'm gonna put that in my back pocket for later. I have no clue what a sieve is. This, dude. Oh, the whole bowl. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna call it now? Oh no. Oh no. I need to go to bed. The Nightly Spiral. This is my favorite frickin' comic 
ever. I have never seen something capture the experience so well. I I'm glad I've never experienced this. Even if every type of meat could be replicated without animals suffering, be affordable and all that, I'd still have no mercy for tiny fish. Like, sorry little guy, but you're literally designed as a tiny little snack. Like if a huge eldritch being told me that I'm literally designed to be a little snack, I would not argue with that. Yeah, you would. Come on, don't lie, you totally would. My favorite thing about Samus's power suit is the giant snack containers on her shoulders. The Metroids attach to her to siphon the snacks, which kills her. I'd frickin' die too if some jackass aliens decided to deprive me of my Skittles, Snickers, Twix, Kit Kats, and more, which I stored in my refrigerated shoulder compartments. I mean, yeah, that'd be kind of messed up. Scientists reveal new, most dangerous personality type? New personality just dropped. My god, the personality type where they suck your brain out like spaghetti and then organize it. Mother of Christ. I know everyone's like, the only way to kill Dracula is a stake through the heart, but in modern times, I think we should at least try hitting him with a very fast car. Same energy as that Buffy episode where the big bad can't be hurt by any weapon forged, and she's like, mm, it's been 500 years, are you sure, and annihilates it with a rocket launcher. I think I need to finally get around to watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Things to say that will always start a fight. You guys want to start a fight? Whose idea was it to end this show? I don't know, maybe the viewers that weren't watching it that much anymore? I mean, sheesh. What do you want from me, man? He doesn't even know. Know what? The economic state of America. Look, you know what they say, ignorance is bliss, and he is living in it. It's only an unpaid internship if you don't steal enough office supplies. Stealing is wrong. You mean unpaid internships? I agree. When you ask someone, hey, are you okay? And they give you a thumbs up because whatever bullshit they're currently in the middle of renders them unable to speak. That generally means absolutely not, but I can't be stopped. Thank you for your concern. You're welcome. There's no problem at all. So my little sister heard the ice cream truck and tried to grab her money and run after it, but she couldn't catch up. So now she's just kind of lying there on the street. I feel like we've all been there. Uh, metaphor, not literally, not literally speaking, okay? Not all of us could have been in that exact same situation. You understand. My neighbors upstairs have officially gotten to the point where they're loud enough to wake me up. I'm happy homegirl is getting her back blown out, but I wish both of them and the whole family would become severely allergic to movement. They're changing me. They're making me worse. I have a suggestion. What do you suggest? What, what? Tell me. Honey is vegan. I don't really care if a bee's like, where's all the honey I've been making? They probably get over it really fast. Their brains are very small. Bees choose to live in the box where they know damn well that a large fraction of the honey will periodically be removed instead of simply leaving the place like they're perfectly able to. Because the human box comes with an invulnerable titan to guard them against all threats, the bees consider the payment offered for this colossal mercenary to be a pretty good deal. Hmm. Bees know about supply and demand. Protection money. Protection honey. Yes, absolutely. The bees make the payment for our services. Is it true that girls have to be careful when they take baths because their vaginas can swallow water or something and then get infected and then they can die? Or is that just a myth? Did you take sex ed in Texas? Let me just say that I live in Texas, and in my sexual education, a girl asked what the clitoris was, and the teacher told her that it didn't exist. It, 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 wait, they do? It's real? Why am I hearing about it now? Which one of these shapes is a, a booba? And which one is Kiki? The one on the left is more booba, and the one on the right is more Kiki. Thanks. New Turing test just dropped. I'm confused, but that's okay. I think it's pretty normal for me to be confused by now. The weirdest thing I've learned while working for pest control is that snails love rat poison and will actively eat it, but hate sesame seeds. I should add that rat poison has no effect on snails, and they just get super fat because they gorge themselves on boxes of rat poison. Absolute units. Of course. Then they go and get eaten by birds and raccoons or whatever and deliver like 10 times the lethal dose of rat poison to whatever's eating them and kill it horribly. <laughs> Snail used toxic. It's super effective. Booby traps? Sure. I would easily fall into a trap if I saw boobs. Do you ever get friend lust? Like, 
You just see someone and you're like, man, I have such a friend crush on you. I want to be your friend so bad. I want to be more than a friend. I want to be a best friend. You hear me? You're so cool. I admire you a lot and you're so funny. Please be my BFFL. I'll treat you right. Let me be your Drake friend. No other friend will treat you like I would. Stop this feline menace. Leave Tubbs alone. He okay? The Holy Trinity. Do twins have the same size d Now we're asking the real questions. Well, as a twin, I can say my d is definitely bigger than my sister's. Okay, come on. D come on. Are you sure about that? I almost forgot to mention, this woman came into the penguin enclosure with a kestrel and said, Oh my god, is that an American kestrel? And she said, Yes! She was outside doing raptor education on the kids, but she doesn't like to get rained on. She was watching the penguins with what I will anthropomorphically project as skepticism. I hate rained on. Here is birds and water. No. Also, to anybody who has made it to the end of the video, I just want to say, hey, how are you? Thank you. Sorry if the audio is a little bit off. I'm currently in Finland, and yes, as it turns out, it is a real place. It's crazy here. It's cold. It's gray. I'm very tired. And uh, have a good day.